Welcome to my channel. I am Dino. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are discussing the certified Kubernetes application developer refresher program domain number three, which is on multi container pods. If you are not yet subscribed into my channel, please do hit on the subscribe button as well as the bell sign to get notified when I upload a new video. Let's get it started. We have discussed a lot in the core concepts video about pods. If you haven't watched that video, please go and watch that video and then you will get know many commands and many different configurations that you can do to configure a pod. Within a pod, there can be multiple containers and then these containers are sharing the same network in namespace as well as the storage. That means they can talk to each other uh, between these multi containers using local host as well as when you have volumes configured within this pod, these volumes can be mounted into both the containers. In that case, they can see the same content within these volumes between these containers. Here is an example of how to create a pod. You can run kubectl run command with the pod name, image, and then pass additional attributes into that and then expose it as YAML file. And a single container pod uh, definition YAML file would look like this. And then you can see under the pod spec container section, you can see there's only one container defined. In this case, there's only one Nginx container which is exposing on pod 80. If you want to add multiple containers into that, it is very simple. You can add the same kind of container block within this container container section and then define any number of containers afterwards. Here is an example where I have added a busybox pod and then which is actually talking into localhost 80. That means I should get the nginx containers output through the busybox pods logs. When you're designing multi-container pods, there are some predefined design patterns that you can follow through. Some of these patterns are sidecar, adapter and ambassador. You need to know about these pod design patterns for the CKAD exam. Now let's discuss about these design patterns. 